Another day and another set of COVID-19 rules laid out by the government, this time for the people of the North East. Boris Johnson says extra restrictions are needed here, but the Prime Minister got into a bit of a muddle when asked to explain what his new laws actually were. In the North East uh, or in other areas where uh, extra uh, tight measures have been brought in, you should follow the guidance of, of, uh, of local authorities. Uh, uh, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's six in, in, in a home or six in, in hospitality, but uh, as I understand it, not six outside. What he meant to say was that the new guidelines for the North East ban people from mixing with others outside their household or social bubble in indoor settings, and that includes pubs and restaurants. I'll just show you this clip. In Newcastle, we showed shoppers what the PM had said, and there was general confusion about what any of it meant. I was messaging family and friends yesterday. What can we do? What can, can we not do? And nobody kind of, oh, I didn't know that, really, you know. And Very have big. the Prime Minister's words cleared that up for you? No. <laughs> if he's going to tell the rules, obviously you need to understand them before everyone else understands. Everyone's a bit muddled up with everything that's going on. So some people wear masks, some people aren't. And it's causing a lot of ruckus in the country. The Prime Minister has since apologised, but his mistake came only a few hours after one of his ministers admitted not knowing the details when asked the same question on the radio. Boris Johnson's critics say all of this has seriously undermined faith in the government. The fact that the Prime Minister himself doesn't know what they mean doesn't fill anybody with any confidence that the rest of government knows what it's doing either. So, new rules are coming into force for the North East on top of restrictions already in place. But as we've been finding out, there is widespread confusion, which is going to have an impact when it comes to compliance. And as for bars and restaurants, well, they say the new measures will have a devastating impact on their businesses. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Ollie Volkhard, who owns several Thank coffee you. shops, bars and restaurants, despairs at the government's handling of the crisis and fears for the future. For my business, um, it means I don't believe we're, we are able to trade under those tighter restrictions still. Um, and so we've taken the opportunity with furlough still being in place to put all our staff back on furlough, nearly 200 people, um, close all our sites again and um, go back to... <laughs> Go back to day one, sadly. There is no doubt the restrictions are becoming more complicated and difficult to follow. But the government says unless there's evidence the tide is turning, they'll likely stay in place for the next six months. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Newcastle.